There's one right here beside me. <laughs> That's fun to be able to cast them like that. Oh gosh. Boy, they're squirrely. There we go, got him. Nice, first pink salmon of the day. There you go, really pretty fish, nice pink. See those big spots on that fork tail? Separates them from the other salmon species. Inhaled that pink jig. See, these fish are actually pretty good size. There's that tail, we'll get this guy back in the water. Sweet, that was so much fun. I using a medium light rod, so it's a little underpowered for these fish. I thought they wouldn't be fighting that hard, but they actually do fight pretty well. I'm used to targeting upstream where they're... I'm bobber fishing for them. I'm usually using a longer rod, but yeah, it's, they put up an impressive fight for little guys. They're very squirrely. So basically, I'm just driving around looking for fish rolling on the surface. I'm assuming that they're moving upstream, so I'll cast upstream of them like I just saw some fish out there I'll cast out there in front of them and just make little twitching motions with the that jig I think I need to get a little closer I've seen a bunch of them busting on the surface here I'm gonna pick up my jig here that should be about right where they're at, right there. Then just short twitching motions, just basically twitching jigs in the estuary. There's some over here to my left. And make sure you do it all the way back to the boat, because I had one grab it right at the boat. Okay, I'm gonna wait until I see one jump again. Oh, there's one right there. There it is, got him. Big school all around me now. That's a big one. It's a monster. Cool. That was great. So much fun. That thing is a tank and beautiful fish too. Absolutely gorgeous. I get this guy back in the water. Really pretty fish. Somehow he got this jig like wrapped a hundred times inside this rubber. Driving me crazy. There's some right there. He ripped the skirt off of the super glue I had in there, so now I've got to retie this real quick. That's tied. Just gonna pinch the barb, and then we'll be good.
Let's go get another one. So basically I'm just looking for fish to jump near me and either cast them from here or motor over to them. I just saw one there. There's a school out here in front of me. Two or three fish at least. I'm gonna motor over to them. Like I said, I'm always trying to cast upstream of them so that it's where their heads are pointing. So I'm assuming most are gonna be swimming upstream. Definitely seems like casting to the jumpers. If you get it right in front of them, you can stand a really good chance. Otherwise, blindly casting is much chancier. Oh, here's one right here. It's a little school right there. Couldn't get him to follow it though. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's right behind it. Here, they're right here. No, nope. that's cool. I just saw the school swim by the kayak there. Didn't get anyone out of that. I had one follow. There's a bunch of them coming through right now. Nope. No bites out of those schools though. There's a school over there. There's another big school right here. Oh, they are. Oh, there's a bite. Missed it. There he is. Go. Woohoo! <laughs> Man, this is so much fun. Especially on light tackle. Jeez, I almost ripped out of my hand. That would have been embarrassing. Man, this feels like a nice fish. These are a lot bigger than I uh, have encountered in some of the other rivers I've been in. It's so much fun. Uh, this is crazy. What a cool fishery. Uh, we'll get this one in the boat. That's a big one. Here we go. That one's a little more humpy looking. They get a big hump on their back when they get older. Pretty fish though. Man, gorgeous. Look at that toad, guys. That's a beautiful fish. This guy revived and back on his way. That was rude. It's like there's a big school over here. Yep. I'm gonna go over there. When you see three or four of them together, then you know it's a, a good sign. Okay, there they are. There's a seal too up here, which makes me a little nervous. I hook up. Still a few more fish over here. Let's see, they are... Sometimes you can just see the disturbance where they're waking right underneath it. Like right there, right there. Oh, there's a bite right on the drop. I just went to do my first jig and he felt the resistance. 
Oh, there's a bite, right? The boat. Come on. There he is. Took it right at the kayak. <laughs> Holy cow, this is awesome. They are so squirrely. Holy cow, look at all these fish. I'm just surrounded by pinks right now. This is like fishing for fish in a barrel. See if I can get this one. This guy's not putting up as much of a fight as the other ones have. Oh, there he goes. Now he's waking up. <laughs> it's only 20 feet deep here. They can only go so deep. Back down. It's like when I get the net, then they like decide to fight. So I'm just using 10 pound braid mainline and 10 pound fluorocarbon leader just for that extra abrasion resistance. I don't think they're leader shy. That's a big one. That's a really nice fish. Oh, in and out. That was awesome. In and out. That's a big, big buck. Really nice fish. Gorgeous. Put this in the vertical rod holder. That thing is a toad. That's a toad. Here we revive him well. This is a long fight. Let him go when he's ready to go. See ya. That was cool. Oh, there's a couple more up here. All the way, all the way back to the boat. It's almost every cast now. <laughs> This is so stupid, it's so fun. Ah, uh, seal's got it. Yeah, that seal saw me. I just have to break it off. There it goes. I fed the seals. That happens. That seal was just come downstream of me. He saw me catching all those fish and he was like, I'm gonna take advantage of that guy's skills. Yeah, that salmon just got about 100 pounds heavier all of a sudden. And, uh, There's really no point in trying to get it back from them. They've got it, they've got it. I'm just using a uni to uni knot to tie my leader on and I'm doing about 
three and a half, four foot section of the 10 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. And then I'm gonna stick with the quarter ounce jig because that seemed to be more effective. That's all it is, just a quarter ounce pink jig head with a hoochie glued onto it. Pinch the barb, that's all you need. Also got some 3 8 ounce if they decide to go deeper, but they seem to respond better to the slower fall of the quarter ounce jig today. That might not be true every day, I'm not an expert, since this is my first day doing it. Pinch the bob. I like these pliers, they've got a barb pincher. Barb smasher built into them. It's a good thing. Very handy up here. All right, let's go get some more. Oh, there they are right in front of me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so I saw two. There's one over here. There we go. Got it. Yes. <laughs> it's so cool. That is so much fun. <laughs> There's gonna go back around. There we are. Right in the corner of the mouth. Sight fishing for estuary pinks is a lot of fun. I get a lot of fun. Oh, right there, right there. That's a little one. But. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that is so much fun. So the little guy, little hen probably. Got it. Swimming in the net. All right, very feisty hen. I like her spunk. She is. Woo. See ya. Flying fish. <laughs> that is great. Right here in front of me. Oh, there's a bite. God, there's so many of them right here. There's gotta be one that's gonna bite. That was bite. That one following it? Nope. Didn't want it. There's a bunch in here. One chasing it. Oh, oh, come on. There he hit it right the kayak. <laughs> That's cool. Got to watch him take it. <laughs> that is so much fun. What a hoot.
I mean, he literally took it right there. I watched him just swallow it. That is so cool. Let's do a quick release on this one. It's shiny. Come on. Ah. Oh, dude. There you go, quick release. All right, let's get some more. They're in here. And I am soaked from that fish. But that was the best one. Even though it was one of the biggest fish, it was the most fun watching it eat it like that. Uh, there's like a hundred fish back here. Okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> like as soon as you cast it in there, man, they're on it. Oh. They always do that when they're laying all nice and calm and pretty in the net. And they decide to go crazy. Look how shiny she is though. Very pretty. They're still in there. He hit it right the boat. <laughs> that was sweet. I mean, he engulfed it just as I was lifting that jig out of the water. It was a big buck, too. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Oh god. That is just so much awesome. So much fun. A big buck. Big old buckaroo. Right there. There you go. See ya. <laughs> that was great. That's gotta be. I keep saying that it's the best takedown I've seen over and over again because it is true. It's just amazing watching Sam go slam this jig right next to the boat. I just felt the bite. There he is, got him. They are out of. They're like salmon on meth. They probably are on meth because we're fishing in the Duwamish, after all. They're more acrobatic than coho, I think. At least here they are. Wow! Now he doesn't run. Didn't want to be on camera, I guess. No. Seal. Ah, seal got it. Did you see the line go heavy like that? A seal got it. Oh. Dang it. Bit right there. Uh. 
chasing it. He's chasing it. There he goes, got him. You guys need help with a fish? At least I would uh, get this guy. Oh. <laughs> get this guy in the net. I got a guy over here with a king on him and help him net it. Yeah, I'm going to. All right, here's coming up behind you. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Look at that thing. Holy shit. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah. Wild, too. Beautiful, I know. I could tell the first time it kind of rose up. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> Thanks, man. I needed help with this. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to be hooked really easy. Um, you want me to uh, go ahead and try and revive it? Yeah, for please you? do. I'm going to troll with her. Okay. I'm gonna put it on a really low speed and see if we can push some oxygen across her gills. So I'm gonna back this off to slowest speed. She's starting to pump a little bit. There she goes. Yep, she went. Yeah. You just gotta pump some water across the gills. The water temp's fine, so. You're welcome. Cool fish. That is absolutely perfect looking specimen there. Nice big, nice big buck, gorgeous fish, awesome. I think that's going to be my last fish of the day. I think that's like 20 fish now. So get this one back in the water and we'll uh, head in. Time for dinner. <laughs>